Stefan Macchio has been behind some of the biggest songs in pop music. Well, now he's stepping away from his busy schedule to focus on his first love, the piano. I had a chance to sit down and talk with Stefan about his new music, his career, and what he's learned along the way. Take a look. Well, my friend, it is so good to see you. Uh, you're looking happy, you're looking well, uh, and we're here to talk about new music. This is great. This is amazing, Ben. It's so nice to see you as well. 2020 is 2020, right? It's it's the one and only, and it's here hopefully for one year only, and then we can move on to something else. But in the meantime, out of 2020 was born Tales of Solace. So during a pandemic, you come out with an album that's got the word solace in it, which means comfort right. in a time of sadness or distress. So was that a happy amazing. accident? Was it by design? Was it pure coincidence? Or was it just dumb luck? It was all of the above, honestly. Um, in 2018, I was recording Celine Dion, the orchestra for, for her in London, England. And I was actually at my wits end with, um, with, with where I was as a pop producer. I went back to my hotel room and there was classical music playing on the radio in London. And I said, that's who Stefan Macchio is. And last year I sat down at the piano and I had one of the most cathartic healing, uh, artistic, uh, musical moments of my life. I recorded perhaps 23 hours of uh, solo piano music wow. at this instrument, and Tales of Solace was born. It had uh, foreshadowed um, COVID. You know, I completed the album last year, and everybody thinks that my album has to do with COVID and quarantine world. And it was just a coincidence, the timing of everything. Is it true that when you recorded the album, A, a lot of the um, melodies were improvised on the spot, one take, and two, yeah. You recorded in the dark with black and white movies on. Uh, both absolutely correct. How do you go into recording an album? Uh, with, I mean, did you have big chunks that you said, okay, I'm just gonna make this up on the fly? And and if you'd written it, what did you need the mood for? What did you need the, the darkness and the black and white movies for? I hadn't written it. That was the, That's why I call this one of the most cathartic experiences I had. I, I had started- Oh, this is how you put it all together. Yes. I locked myself in my studio. I just played for hours, for, for two months. I'm a big fan of golden age Hollywood and, and, and in, yeah. particular, in particular black and white movies. So I just, and I projected that and that was the only ounce of light that I had. And I just liked the movement oh, wow. and I would just play. I wanted to keep it so simple. I just, yeah. 10 fingers, two hands, a heart, a brain, and a piano, done. And a story, and, and though. But, like, listen, I mean, songs about relationship struggles. Uh, one is about an aging Hollywood starlet. A song about Freddie Mercury falling yes. in love with a woman as a gay man. Um, these are very specific. So, A, where the stories come from? And, B, when, when people listen to this album, do you want them to know these stories beforehand to have it color their impression of the music? No, not in particular, but, but I do see it gives people context. Um, great art sometimes it, it often is left, leaves enough room for the interpreter to make it their own. You've worked uh, with some of the biggest stars in the world that transcend genre, uh, from The Weeknd to Miley to, to Celine. Uh, you, you wrote CTV's Olympic anthem, which is, I have to say, right. is probably the most uh, uh, perfect earworm of all time. <laughs> And now it's going to be in my head for the rest of the day. Um, you, you also worked on Etox theme, Marilyn Dennis theme, um, the Your Morning theme. You know, so uh, Your this Morning is, uh, theme. Exactly. I was gonna... Yes. It's not every day that uh, I get to ask a, an incredibly talented uh, musician about his work and find myself leaving the conversation. Um, uh, as if I was given a gift. This has been a great conversation. Thank you. Um, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm so happy that you were able to, to do something that mattered so much to you. I know that that is going to uh, spill over into everybody who listens to it. So all the best to you. I hope you stay safe. I hope you are happy. And I look forward to seeing you in person real soon. Thank you, Ben. And my love to Canada as well. I miss home.
Stefan's album, Tales of Solace, is out now. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.